Hey, I, I ain't get it right. Hey, I, the time, I, I, I I I'm liking it, it though. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Time. We 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 gonna stick it with that for right now. I'm liking it. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw that from Paul Heyman because you know he had a fantastic speech. Anyway, I gotta get used to it, right? Yes, sir. This is GNC Sports Talk. Talk. <laughs> GNC Sports Talk. Man. Gotta get used to saying it, right? GNC Sports Talk. First off, we want to say, hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a great and fantastic week. Hope, hopefully, you had a great, fantastic weekend. Hopefully, you listen to us and enjoy these sports talks and these sport takes and these sport optics that we had. Yeah, go. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Glow. All right, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, children of all ages, this is GNC Sports Talk. What we do it for the culture, by the culture, because we are the culture. You did number one sports podcast. Why? Because our mama says so. Because our mama says so. Love Ladies you. and gentlemen, love you, mama. Love you, mama. Number one because you said so. love you too, daddy. Love you too, daddy too. Number one because you made us number one. <laughs> Both of y'all. We're so thrilled to have you here. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend and tell a friend. If you are a repeat offender, thank you for being locked up with us here for this hour. Yeah, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And of course, the same just goes for you guys. Right. Like, subscribe, and share. Before we get into anything, want to go ahead and get into any introduction we might need to get into. But first, mm -hmm. first for you. What y'all listening to, man? We want to know what y'all listening to. Uh, we at the end of every episode, we give our music picks for the week. So we want to know what y'all been listening to, what y'all have listened to. We want to know what y'all want to, what y'all put us on that we'll listen to, that we we'll put it on Spotify, all that good stuff, man. We here for it. We here for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and yes. If you want to put what you are listening to, we ask that you put a M before whatever the song and artist is. I will say that for the end of the episode. Really quick to go ahead and get to this week's here podcast. First in the chat, we have, oh, well, if you want to pop up, yo, yo what up, said CJ, uh, Celtics fan in the piece. I hope you got your retwist because that's what you were talking about yesterday. I ain't get a chance to ch check because I was busy at work, but I hope you got your reach with Hey, man, look, hey, look, my hat my getting a little bit longer. You know, it's getting a little bit longer. Yeah, up there. It's getting long. It's getting long. It's, getting, it's, vibe, it, it's getting curly the way I want to get curly. You know what I'm saying? It is getting long. I'm getting, it's getting long for me, too. That's why I got to get mine cut soon. Yeah. Uh, this beard getting long, too, though, but y'all don't see it, though. You don't see what I'm talking about. Uh, Black Rating, what is up, our good brother? I didn't say his name right. Black Rating. Black. Right. There you go. There we go. <laughs> this chicken. Oh, that's, that, that, for those of you who don't know, that's not for chickens. That's for Gamecocks. <laughs> South Carolina Gamecocks. I got you, bro. Yeah. Uh, hey, family. What's up, little sis? Chelsea, what, what up? Is? What up? What up? Uh, that's the GOAT. I, I'm assuming the GOAT is for Don. Lakers. Or the Eclipse. Or the Eclipse. Or maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, happy Tuesday, Tanya. How are you doing? What up, Tanya? How are you doing? Game freak. What up, what up? We getting to you. Oh, we coming for you. We coming for you. Hello, good brother. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you got that re reach with, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our mother right here. Best podcast in the nation. What's up? What up, what up, what up? Again, for it said, and for anybody else who's just now tuning in, our predictions are usually right. And hey, well, hey, what y'all think about the Eclipse, though? The Eclipse is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have put that in the question. That's well, I, it, well, if you go on my IG, you'll definitely see the picture that I took yesterday of the Eclipse. And, well, some more random pictures, but, yeah. I At first, at first, I'm my honest opinion, I, I wasn't going to go out there and watch it, but... Gary convinced me to go out there and check it out. We it. checked it out. We walked around, you know, did all the stuff, walked around the park. Everybody's outside. I guess all the schools. I think the schools were out. out I, I believe all the schools are out. So everybody's outside enjoying the Eclipse. It lasts for maybe two minutes. But okay, four minutes. Not five. We ain't running up. But it was good. I, I enjoyed it. But we, we was outside for a minute. The, the next one coming up in 2044. 
more <laughs> around here, it's gonna be another one soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Spain, I think 20 26. Yeah. All right. Uh good evening, Miss Charde. How are you doing? What's going on? Got man? smoke for you too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, you kind of Purdue lo- uh you got- and Purdue lost. You guys didn't have faith in Purdue. <laughs> hey, hey, we're gonna get on that. We're gonna get on that soon. Hey, bro, let's look at what Miss Tanya said. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yeah, both of you looking good. Hey, we appreciate you. We appreciate. We you. appreciate. We you. appreciate. You. Hey, 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 hey. We, we looking better because of the advice that you have given us. Any compliment, I'm down for it. You looking better because the advice you're giving us. That's that's what it is. This <laughs> this whole name change we was on the fence about. <laughs> Got some good advice. Right. Uh real quick. Uh those uh those, those were dogs, dogs for the husky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, dang it. No, y'all didn't see that. I, I screwed that up. Well, don't Thank, worry about yeah, it. We'll go back to it. We'll, we'll go back. We'll go back, we'll go back. We'll go back. All right. Before we go ahead and get started with basketball, because that is the main thing on everybody's membrane, we have some exciting football news. Depending on who you're a fan of. Kind of. Buffalo Bills trade wide receiver Stefan Diggs after a long, tumultuous year and a half controversy going back and forth. Almost the little petty side is where you're not really saying anything, but you know it's a problem. Yeah. And you're just in this stuff just to be in this stuff. Well, he got traded to the loaded Houston Texans already with rookie Tank Dale, rookie C.J. Stroud from last year. Mm -hmm. Also, Nico Collins, who has a big body frame, 6'4", 200-something pounds, who emerged after Tank Dale got hurt in a more uh, encompassing role. Dalton Schultz, former Cowboy, who is a tight end, that tremendous defense. They added Dalton Schultz. I mean, sorry, they added Joe Mixon. Phenomenal running back for the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't know how they let him go. Yeah. Houston, Texas added Joe Mixon, and they also added Stephon Diggs. So it already loaded wide receiving core to a loaded offensive core to a loaded team. What do you think about this trade that took place? And we'll get on the Buffalo Bills, but what do you think about this trade that took place? The, the word that I want to use is, what is unexpected. This is unexpected that it happened. Not unexpected that the trade happened because I, I had a feeling he was going to get traded. Either this year, next year, or whenever, because the train in Buffalo, I, I think they had they they had their fun in the sun. It was exciting, but they kept running to the man, the myth, the legend, the Hall of Famer as we speak, Patrick Mahomes. So that train was was gonna that train was gonna leave with or without Stephon Diggs, and uh, again they traded him Houston. I think Houston is gonna be. Houston's going to be a fun team to watch. Now, we'll see how far they go in the playoffs. We'll see how that chemistry happens with C.J. Stroud and, uh, and, and Stephon Diggs. But right now, on paper, on paper, Houston is looking like a top-notch team. Houston is looking like a team that may be feared, and Houston is looking like a team that could possibly contend. So I like the move that Houston made. Uh, now, Buffalo, you get rid of them. What do you get in return? Hey, we'll see. Maybe they may have something up their sleeves when the draft comes around. But as far as Houston is concerned, but hey, phenomenal job on paper, on paper, on, on paper, phenomenal job. Now we just have to trans. Y'all are just gonna have to translate that to field and win. I believe that Houston has been the overwhelming favorite that won in the offseason, minus the Los Angeles Chargers getting John Harbaugh. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh. John Harbaugh. John Harbaugh. I think it's John. The Houston Texans transform leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds. And before people just get on the bandwagon of saying just CJ Stroud, D'Amico Ryan's former Houston Texans came there and helped transform that team. They already had a mentality years prior with their defense being good. Much like the Browns, their defense was good, their offense was trash. Right. They showed fight the previous two years before last year where they were like, hey, they could have been a team. They could have beat the Cowboys. They could have beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't do it. They didn't have that structure, that nucleus, that whatever they needed. And in walks CJ, in walks D'Amico Ryans, in walks Tank Dells. Already the mentality, I believe, is there, but they needed a boost. And then now we have the addition of a, a supremely talented running back and a supremely talented wide receiver already with the depth that they have. Great, good, I'm happy. Houston. 
undoubtedly in the AFC has been my team going forward, and yeah, I'm going to ride with them as long as they have things in place and they don't screw the pooch like they probably can. Mm -hmm. Having said all that, the Buffalo Bills, I am very disappointed in what they have going on. Because before Stephon Diggs joined the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen was not that dude. Right. We saw glimpses, we saw peaks. Him coming from Wyoming, which if y'all don't know, was a part of the WAC before. And if you don't know what the WAC is, it's kind of in the name, even though it doesn't stand for that. But Josh Allen was a part of that, and he came from Wyoming, super hyped up. He looked very much raw talent right. his first couple of years. Stephon Diggs, I'm telling the bad side, he told the good side. Stephon Diggs, Minnesota Vikings, awesome wide receiver for them. Adam Thielen was the other receiver. Adam Thielen started getting shine, and they let Stephon Diggs go. Although Stephon Diggs' mouth and attitude wrote a cash, I mean, wrote a check that they had to cash to get him out of there. Now Adam Thielen is no longer there, neither is Stephon Diggs, but they are rebuilding in a way that benefits them. And Minnesota is a contender, at least for the NFC North. Thanks. He goes to Buffalo. Things are great. He's making all the catches. He is that wide receiver. He's so good that he demands double teams. And he's still not happy. Even though he was a thousand yard receiver last year yeah, yeah. With, with not as many touchdowns, but he still was not happy. And the grunts and the grumbles and all that started happening. And then now we have this trade that's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I must say, I will say, I have to say, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, this is Stefan Diggs' last chance in the league. Because if he does this again, nobody will want him. Ask Antonio Brown. I know I took up a lot of time. Go ahead. Well, say. well, I don't know. I don't think this is his last chance. I think he might be going a little bit too far on that. But he does. He has shown attitude. But the thing about Stefan Diggs is, I ain't going to lie, he, when it's time to show up, he do show up. I mean, for the majority of the time. I ain't going to say <laughs> most of the time. Why did they not get past Kansas City last year? That's Kansas City, man. No, no, no. Why didn't they get past him, though? He made the crucial drop, and he also he did. fumbled. He did. He did. He, he made a real. Yeah. If, you, a, if, you, if you follow stat sheet stuffers, they will tell you he's about to be on a decline. Yeah. So that's why I say this is his last he chance. He did. He did make it. Oh, they ain't last chance. Uh, and then, hold on. How, last he signed, chance. Look, he, he only signed a one-year year one year deal. Yeah. The reason why I say last chance is because is he going to play for veteran minimum? Because that's the track he's heading down. Yeah. The league is only getting younger. And also, there are people that want to play in the situation that you're in, whether it was Buffalo or Houston. You can't go in Houston complaining. They had more success than you did. Right. And if you don't get the ball, you don't get the ball. Like, you're that good to command double teams. I'm sorry that you don't get the ball. Right. I'm sorry that the Bills finally understood what running the ball meant. They looked it up, got Joe Brady, old LSU offense coordinator, and he said, we need to run the ball, which was right. Unfortunately, the same thing the Baltimore Ravens didn't do. Bro, hey, you know what? That's another search for another day. That's another search for another day, man. Uh, yes. So the reality of the situation is this. The bottom line, if you will, and old to what we used to be called, the bottom line is this. Houston upgraded, even though we didn't think they could have upgraded anymore. They did. Buffalo, right now, as it shows, downgraded because the reason why Stefan Diggs was such a highly attainable free agent for them or a trade for them was because he can beat man coverage. Right now, they don't even have Gabe Davis there. They have their yeah. tight ends. One tight end always gets hurt. One tight end is going to be a second-year pro. We'll see what that entails, but it does not look good for them right now, even with the brilliance of Joe Brady at the office coordinator. Joe, uh, Josh Allen has shown the ability to regress and throw a lot of interceptions when he's not in the right situations. So now that trade, now that I'm sorry, I'm about to say trade. Oh, so Victor's going to spoil it. That, that, that yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, well, now that Stephon Diggs is gone, we're going to see the re, we're going to see who Josh Allen really, really, really is. And y'all need to, whatever Buffalo, whatever y'all doing, y'all y'all better get some receivers. Y'all yeah. better get somebody on on that that can that can go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, real quick, let me go ahead and uh, get a couple of things going on right quick. Why don't you? Uh, this. Here is from Miss Tanya. That's the hard eyes for us. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that I oh think I think we did. I think we're doing it right. <laughs> you suck at it. You suck at it. Um from, ooh, it went away. Uh from Kadeja. Hey y'all, just noticed the name change is nice. Yes. What up though? 
last week was the induction of it. We got to make sure we let it roll off the tongue because it's been so long. <laughs> Good evening, G. How what are up, you what doing? Up, what up? Great conversation as always with her. Uh, can we give a shout out to Kayshawn oh. Booty for ruining his Super Bowl in Louisiana? <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 you you wild for that. You wild for the best, bro. You wild for that, man. He wild, you wild for that. <laughs> but we're gonna give him a shout out anyway because he, he went to LSU. So. I'm giving him no shout out. Shout out for being overrated in the league right now. Uh, whack equal Dookie. Why do he say it? Well, anyway, that's been his favorite word, right? <laughs> since yesterday. Man, <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I am screwing up. I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, all right, on the Pro basketball because apparently you want to put a lot of them up in here. So yeah. go ahead and go oh, down the run down. Oh quick. man, I want to give a big shout out to uh this the hard working award. Uh I just made that up today. This goes to Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> he has signed uh, he has signed with the Phoenix Suns for the rest of the season. If you don't know Isaiah Thomas's journey, uh quite a few years ago, he played for the Boston Celtics. He led the Celtics to uh the oh, uh, beating the Chicago Bulls in the first round of the NBA playoffs a few years ago. Uh, and while playing against Chicago Bulls in the first round, unfortunately, his sister had passed away. So to cope with that, he still continued to play basketball. Uh, he did everything right. He uh, unfortunately, uh, Boston, the Boston Celtics cut him after the season was over with, after averaging over 20 something points a game. And it's just been an uphill battle for him. He's been playing overseas. He's been playing in the G League. And a few, uh, about a month or so ago, the Suns signed him to a 10-day contract. Then after that, they signed him to a second day, a second 10-day contract. And now he is signed for the rest of the season. So I want to give a huge, huge shout out, shout out to Isaiah Thomas uh, out of Washington. I see out of Washington. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say this. Boston Celtics is still suffering from sports karma because they did him so wrong in the way that they released him after he gave so much for their franchise. Just want to say that. Yeah, that, that, anybody I want, please go read that story by Isaiah Thomas. Uh, incredible story. We witnessed it. I saw him play way back in college at Washington, in, in Washington. And I, I seen I seen the come up. And then when he got to Boston, everything just started clicking. He was a starting point guard. He made things happen. It, fearless. I, I I I enjoy watching play, even though he ain't played on my squad. But that's neither here nor there. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, Houston Rockets. They going to Cancun, man. They are out of the playoffs. Oh man, they going on a banana boat. They going on a banana boat. <laughs> they going on a banana boat. They are going on the banana boat. Tyrese Maxey did drop fifty two against the San Antonio Spurs. This was before Joel and B got back. Tyrese Maxey has stepped up this year in a tremendous way with or without Joel Embiid on the floor, which leads people to think what would have been had they gave the reins to Tyrese, Tyrese Maxey instead of having James Harden on the court. Oh, no, I'm going to call about that. going to say Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese? But, yes, this what, what he's been doing this year, simply amazing, simply phenomenal. Kentucky product. Under John Calipari. Gar, Gar, out of Garland, Texas. Out of Garland, I, I, Texas. I, I, we'll, I, we'll get to that John Calipari name in a second. But simply amazing what he's been doing, even without the services of Joel Embiid, and arguably the second best team in the East, depending on how you look at it and depending on what you say with their success is. Just saying. And Milwaukee. Saying, I, oh, I didn't put it on you. Milwaukee has been struggling. Milwaukee has been struggling. They lost on Sunday night against the, uh, against the New York Knicks. So they have been struggling. Milwaukee, Doc Rivers, you need to get it together, brother. Uh, it ain't looking too good. It's not looking good at all. You know, huh? That's all right. Uh, and we have, uh, I just want to give another huge shout out to the women out there. Uh, this one goes to Lindsay Harden. Uh, she uh, played at Duke. Uh, and she was the D League Coach of the Year for the Stockton Kings with a 24 and 10 regular season record and is now getting an interview for the Charlotte Hornets. I got to give a big shout out to Lindsey Harden. Uh, I got a crush on you. That's just, that, that, that's just, you know what I'm saying? If you ever need an assistant coach, I'll let your boy. 
But oh, not no. I'll let nah, your boy you tripping now. I'll let your boy. But we've been telling you to coach. But but Lindsay, uh, good luck in your interviews. Uh, good luck in everything that you do. Uh, I am here for you. I am here for it. I am here for the journey. So I like I like everything that's going on, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is GNC Sports Talk. We thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Also, thank y'all for liking the names. Real quick, want to get into the comments before we continue. Love the new name. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Aunt Alexis. Appreciate it. Yeah, Glow. Yeah, Glow. <laughs> uh, yeah, not the Super Bowl sports bit. My bad, bro. Yeah. My bad. Sports appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate it. I, I thought that's what he was talking about, but I ain't yeah. know for sure. When you said Super Bowl, I was like, what? No, my bad. Um, it's cool. Bit. That's cool. Louisiana, uh, Super Bowl, New Orleans next year. Next year, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even want to say that. I just lead it up there. Uh, not you shooting your shot. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> clearly, you got to put it on socials, though. I don't know if she's gonna tune in to the YouTube channel. You got to put it man, on socials. I'm just saying, man. Um, <laughs> Carrie, a little not hollering at the girl. Where else would you make your picks? I mean, we could be Kendra G on this thing, and you know, you're the hook <laughs> up. Who knows? I mean, have you met Carrie? Have you met Carrie? There that you go. There. Have you met Carrie? Well, I, I'm him. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that we want to talk about that we have to get into, the thing that took over the weekend, minus WrestleMania, which I am, I am a wrestling fan, Cody finished his story and then started another one, but that's another episode for another Hey, day. man, we got to build it up. We got to We want to start from the, the small one first. Let, let, can, can we please start with John Calipari? We can. All right, man. If you didn't know, if you was under a rock yesterday, John Calipari, or just under a rock, period, John Calipari, is no longer with the Kentucky Wildcats. After his lifetime deal, he is no longer with them. And he is now, shockingly, I have to say this, I, I don't think I would have ever, these words would ever come out of my mouth. John Calipari is now the head coach of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Who would have ever known? Big shout out to you, John Calipari, for knowing, hey, you know, you had your time, it was fun in the sun, but hey, Things got things move on, things got to change, and you have to change your, your environment. So now here you are at it. Arkansas. About Jack and Diane. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling the youth. So it, it was a little shocking that he is no longer with Kentucky after he formed a lifetime deal. The buyout <laughs> was $33 million if they wanted to get rid of him. So Kentucky was not trying to pay that. However, John Calipari, I believe, saw the writing on the wall. Yeah. And he also did not want to be there between the fans. I don't know about the players, but obviously those in the administration, they didn't like what he had to preach no more. John Calipari will be remembered for going to Kentucky, doing something amazing before it was amazing, which was doing the one and done rule and really benefiting from it. It's also led to the demise of what we think of college basketball nowadays because one and does don't get it done when it comes up against certain, certain yeah upper class upper class and in a older teams. Oakland, Oakland is Oakland. an example since they lost to them. Uh, uh, well, St. Peter's last year, that, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, his legacy had it is submitted. Uh, he, he does have one NCAA championship that, that was led by Anthony Davis. Uh, like Gary has said, uh, he has submitted himself. Uh, as the one and done king to get all the one and done players to come there. A plethora of players has come through that program under his tutelage, and they have gone to be NBA All Stars, uh, one of the, some of the best players in the league. Uh, I've, I've ripped Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, uh, plenty more, plenty of Tyrese, Tyrese Maxey. I mean, the it can go with Demarcus Cousins, John Wall. But having said all, having said all that, the tutelage that he has and the results that he has in the NBA, it ain't the same in college. It's not the same no more. Only one national championship with these tremendous amount of players that he had, and that was back in twelve, right? Two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. His only national championship. He's only been to a handful of Final Fours, and when I say a handful, we can't go past four. Three, yeah, three, four, <laughs> yeah. It ain't been a lot. It hasn't been a lot. And then he's also been ousted and bounced before he even gets to the second weekend a handful of times here recently. 
the writing was on the wall. It's just that Kentucky set themselves yeah. up for the wrong thing to not even be able to get rid of him even before this. And honestly, John Calipari, smart move that you made to be able to write your own attorney yeah, yeah. because if they get rid of you, they got to pay you $33 million. And I mean, hey, hey, get rid of me, baby. Look at Russell Wilson. He living out here on the edge too. Why not? It might as well, man. Look, I said, like I said, he, uh, as far as his record, his record is unbelievable. Uh, now his record in the regular season record is unbelievable. NCAA record is so, eh, not so good. And, that, and, and, good. and that's where it counts. Uh, I, I can uh, unfortunately say that his March is full of sadness. It, it was full of sadness. And do I want to say he underachieved in March Madness? Yeah, I want to say he underachieved in March Madness because you ain't get it done. You only got it done one time. And one time is one time is great. One time is great. But you, you couldn't get it done more. You you couldn't get it done more than one time with the talent that you had. Losing it with with Devin Booker, Car Anthony Towns, that that squad. And then losing to Wisconsin, you know, you know, in the Final Four, uh, that wax spin move, unacceptable. But again, great coach, by the way. I, I can't. It, he got more pros and cons. So. Great coach, yes. Underachieved, yes. The thing that he'll be remembered for is actually accepting the one and done rule before greats like Mike Shashevsky, Roy Williams, the Blue Blood program started doing it. Mm -hmm. Then everybody started embracing it because you get an influx of talent, even if it's for a year, it keeps you competitive. And if you get a good mix of people who stay for longer than two and some that come in fresh, unless your name is Bill Self, you, you dug into that narrative. So shocking that he left. Interested to see what he's going to do in Arkansas. I said this to a coworker. I think I even said this to you. Kentucky was no longer feared as, as they yeah. were back in 2012 and even prior slash a little bit after that. So whoever they get in next, which is not going to be Dan Hurley, no way Dan Hurley leaving a program that he built up yep. to go to Kentucky, even though Kentucky has its own legacy. Well, see, I've been hearing Scott Drew name. Uh, Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan's name. Chicago Bulls coach now. Yeah. Or, uh, former? Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, former. Mm, well, yeah, but he is what he is. Ain't, he ain't coaching in college no more. He yeah. should have <laughs> stayed in Florida. He should have stayed in Florida. But hey, look, it, it is what it is. John, good luck to you in Arkansas, man. So now we do. Let's All get right. to it, man. Let's All get right. to it. March Madness happened. We want to start with the women's because that is the game that we have been pumping up. Friday, Final Four, Iowa versus UConn. A very controversial call took place, and it was a moving screen. We do not have that footage because I ain't trying to hear nothing from YouTube, y'all. <laughs> so if you missed it, we're going to do our best to explain it. A moving screen took place. With Let's 10 see, seconds left in the game. With 10 seconds left in the game, which eventually led to Iowa winning. Um, honestly, who knows what would have happened, but the refs have done a great job of getting involved more than they should have in all games on both men's and women's sides and not even making the right calls when they do get involved. I agree. It's a tragic shame. Anyway. Tragic. If you believe in conspiracy theories, then you know that Caitlin Clark is going to be in the championship game, so I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the other people. Caitlin Clark. South Carolina, Don Staley and the host of characters that they had were in the championship game Sunday afternoon, not night, afternoon, prime time, 14 million or more viewers on there. Everybody tuned in. Great game. Great game. The thing that I'm going to tell you about the men's and the women's side is this. It was the thing of team versus, versus individual. Players. Yep. That's all you need to know about what happened when South Carolina went up against Caitlin Clark. Shout out to Raven Johnson, Bree Hall. I got the other girl the name. Revenge, Cam, uh, uh, I know Camilla Cardoso. Yeah, Camilla Cardoso, yeah. Uh, but I forgot. Tessa, Tessa Thompson. Tessa, Tessa. I, not Tessa Thompson. I don't want to say that. I'm, th I'm thinking about the actress. actress. Yeah, I'm a Tessa. We're going to say Tessa. Big T. <laughs> big T. Big T. But yeah, big T came a big. The, the host of characters that play on South Carolina, how deep they are. Their bench had 36 points. I would bench had none. Yep. It was just a host of things. Kalen Clark came out to a hot start, but a team versus a player should, and most of the time, 99.999% of the time wins. And that's what we saw. Shout out to Don Staley. That's where I want to stay at. That's where I want to resonate. If you'll indulge me real quick okay. before we get to the men's, we got to pop, we got to pop our shit for the men's. Or what? Don Staley is who she is. This is the list of her short 
but long accomplishments. Okay, all right. Two-time Naismith Player of the Year at Virginia. Shout out to you, Tanya. Six-time WBA All-Star playing for the Sting and the Comet. Three-time Olympic gold medalist, 1996, 2000, and 2004. And That's as a player, as a coach. Uh, three-time NCAA champion with South Carolina. Four-time Naismith Women's College Coach of the Year. And, and Olympic, Olympic gold, gold medalist in 2004. Four coach. Well, coach in 2021. Yes. So back back to the game at hand. Uh, South Carolina was the better team. They had a, a a great amount of players on that team. Everybody played their part. Uh, Raven uh, came back, and offensively, she didn't have she didn't have a specific great game. She wasn't forcing it either. All her shots just kept going in and out. But the defense she played on Caitlin Clark. The whole entire fantastic. game was absolutely fantastic. Uh, she was guarding the full court. Uh, she ain't take not one playoff. She was the orchestrator of the offense. She got everybody involved. She did everything she was supposed to. Defense wins championships. They had uh, Cardoza in, in the paint. She was handling rebounds with ten rebounds. Fifteen. Yeah, my bad. Fifteen rebounds. Handling business and doing what she does. Of course, everybody on the bench stepped up. Uh, at first, it was looking it was looking pretty scary. They were down 19-10, but they came back. They didn't fold. Next thing you know, going into the half, they were up. And again, we have to we have to say this: it's a team sport. South Carolina had a better team. Iowa had the better individual player, but that that doesn't denounce anything. South Carolina was the better team. They deserve it. Big shout out to South Carolina. We want to give a big shout out to Don Staley as well. She is up there on go status as coaches. And if you read this right here, it says Don Staley. She different. She is her. Yes, that is grammatical errors like there is no other. So yeah, we all got, of that in one sentence. That is what she. Is. We gotta give a big shout out to Don. Hey, keep representing for the African American community. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to Philly. And hey, shout out to Philly, man. Shout out to Virginia. Shout out to VA, did. too. All right. So, uh, real quick in the comments from Tanya. T Turning Tessa is her name. Turning Tessa. That's fire right there. Man, I like that. I like that. Oh, well, I'm sorry. This is from Sid first. Uh, yeah, you're it. I don't know about him. I, I agree. I don't know if you him or not. I'm him. Uh, Kentucky Fried <laughs> Chicken is the only thing popping there now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Ray like did one. a NY. Good job. I don't know. We good. Okay. Yeah, we good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I got caught up in. I'm sorry. I was reading. Uh, from Anthony Holmes. Shout out to you, Unc. LSU has a boatload of talent coming in. Prediction. Yo, why, why is everybody? They, they, in, we, 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 we appreciate you. We appreciate you, Unc. We appreciate you, Unc. You know who else got a boatload of talent? The team that just won the championship. How about y'all? How about you stay on that, Unc? The team that won the championship is loaded on the bench, and they got more coming in. How about UConn? Not, UConn got a boatload of talent coming in. That's true. They don't got injuries no more. Flage is that girl for them. And, and, they and not making it back to no final four. We'll see. You don't know the future. How you know? How you know what they're going to do? You don't. All right. Continue. Uh, we, we'll see how they do. Uh, they they probably do have a boatload of talent coming hey, in. Hey, hey, hey. Let me say this. You said it, and I'll go ahead and say it for you. You probably ain't watching the next year no way. Because we probably watch a different uh, women's college basketball. <laughs> you said that. Uh -uh. All right. Uh, Don is a legend. Yes, keep focused on Don. We ain't talking about no LSU. <laughs> hey, man, the man want to make a comment. Yeah. What's wrong with hey, you? We, 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 we talk about the ones that just won. We always talk about man. Let's stay focused. You, you, had, you had in the thing. We talk about, we talk about Don Staley. We talking about the women that just won. The we, man, got, we ain't gave them enough shine and neither did the media. Are you done? The man just said he just had a comment. They just got some talent coming in. He ain't say they was winning nothing. They just had a comment. The, the, the he asked the question. The What's the prediction? prediction? The prediction What's the is prediction? South Carolina. That's a prediction. That's what we uh, saying. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. The prediction of South Carolina. Well, we'll see what happens. What's up, guys? Now that Martin is on Netflix, just remember oh, seeing Don it. Staley on the show. I told you it's gonna be on Netflix. No, no, yeah. I did. I said Martin. They would bring him on the Netflix. I told everybody. Hey man, I'm sorry. You when we you tell me, tell me. I told you two weeks ago because they said they they said it was coming on there. They had the little thing when they go when they go to the little steel mode. They said Martin coming in a couple of weeks, and that was the week it was coming on. Uh, 
There goes that <laughs> anger again. I know you ain't talking about nobody anger see it. <laughs> there goes Carrie with LSU. <laughs> Calm down, Carrie. I'm just saying, okay, I said it. Oh, 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 okay, I said it. Man, you just want to know the prediction. Man, whatever, man. Whatever. Uh, yes, so that leads us to the thing that we really want to talk about, that we really got to pop our stuff on before we get to the thing that we really, 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 really want to talk about. about. So we may or may not get y'all these segments. We'll see, because we got to make sure we sticking on time. But you come on, and there's a couple people in the comment that didn't believe what we were saying. And I gave y'all the theme already, team versus player. So if you want to go first, I'll let you go. First. All right, man, look, we talking about the game that happened last night late at 9 o'clock. We, <laughs> we talking about UConn versus Purdue, Zach Eady versus the UConn Huskies or the UConn Dogs. And, yes, we are pity. Last, last year, last year on this podcast, at GNC Sports Talk, we had said, formerly known as Bob Sports, Sports Talk, Talk, we had said that UConn was going to repeat again. As soon as they won the championship. As soon as they won the championship, because nobody on that team was going to the draft. It was no other, it, there was no seniors on that team that I, that I can think of. So everybody was coming back. And the way they dominated this year, the way they dominated in the Big East, Championship game against Marquette, which was a great game until it was five minutes left in the game. We called it last year that UConn was going to win. And if you looked at the game yesterday, that team, everybody, just like we said about South Carolina, everybody played their positions. They made shots when they needed to. And Dan Hurley had the best – he he had the the thing to win the game. Let Zach Eady – Purdue, score all the points. Purdue's best, Purdue's best player by far, score all the points. Just don't let it, anybody else get involved. And that's exactly what happened. They, I think, uh, Zach, I ain't gonna lie, Zach did look tired out there, especially in the second half. He airballed a free throw. It, it was bad, but I gotta give a big shot to do. Y'all did y'all thing. This is the second time in history that y'all went to the NCAA championship. 1969 was up. Big, big 10. Big 10. I ain't won a championship since 2000. Now it's Michigan State. That one, that was Michigan State. Uh, big, big 10. Man, where y'all at, man? Y'all ain't won nothing since 2000. It, it's, it's a long time, but I don't think y'all gonna win nothing no time soon. Shout out to Maryland. But hey, big shout out to UConn. Y'all came in, y'all did y'all thing. And y'all proved us right. And y'all proved us right. We was right. I want everybody in the comments to say Gary and Carrie, or Carrie and Gary, Gary and Carrie don't matter. Y'all were right. Hey. Uh, game free. We need it. We need. We need that. Say Gary and Carrie, y'all right. And and so yeah, they just say Carrie and Gary is right. And and, and, be, and before you say it, it, yes, we are very petty. If somebody is in the comment that knows me, I'm super petty. I wake up petty every day. We was gonna get our rocks off because it was told to us that, that somebody was riding longer than we was, and we made predictions last year. And I'm not afraid to make this prediction again. They might win again next year. They might win again. Next year. <laughs> Like, hey, and that'd be crazy if they win if that's a three. They might man. go for a three P. It's gonna be hard, but I mean they might go for a three P. They get the number one seed and go through that bracket like they did this year. They might do it again. But having said all that, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about that we do this for the love of it. I'm I'm lying. It, it's about that being right. right. <laughs> we, we was right. We told. Some people that didn't want to listen to us. We said UConn, even though we are UNC fans, UConn is a blue blood. One, we will have an episode on what a blue blood is one day so y'all can understand it because people throwing that word around real crazy. Like they still put Indiana in there. Indiana ain't been relevant since I don't know when. A blue blood is somebody who wins. You got to win to be a blue blood. Name blue bloods. Blue blood, UNC, excuse me, UNC Duke, UConn now. Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky, God, barely Kansas. right now though. Kansas, definitely Kansas, and UCLA. At one point, you know they haven't won these. You still there. count them because of the amount. Yeah, you, you got to count UCLA. So UCLA up there too. So big shot, yeah. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, a team went up against an individual. The reason why I say that Purdue average, I forgot how many threes beforehand, but I can tell you how many they shot last night. And I'm sorry, made one. They only made one three. There's only one other person in double figures last night for 12 points. 
That was a team that went up against a buzzsaw. It went so far as that Dan Hurley had to sit there and make it interesting by pushing his own player and getting the ball to the other team to let them get another basket. Otherwise, we don't know what would have happened. All I know is this. Because we are your leading authority in sports, listen to us. We approve this message. <laughs> We're going to always lead you the right direction, even if there is biases in it. We are always going to lead you the right I approve this message. We approve this message. All right, man. <laughs> all right, man. Let, right. Hold, on, hold on. Let me, let me do the comments. Um, your uncle talking tired, LOL. <laughs> hey, hey, that, that name is Blasphemy. You know what you're supposed to put up there. Uh, you should invite people as a guest. Oh, that's coming. But oh, see, yeah. the whole thing is, if you fresh off a loss, you can't really, like, come on the show. <laughs> Only one we'll allow on because we we had a great conversation off of it is is Spencer, but that's that's for football talk next year. Yeah. But the guests are coming. I guess we can make sure we invite, but it's nothing you can say besides I lost and I cheered for the wrong one. And that's all you can say right now. Take this A up. I'm sorry. Take this A off of here, and that's what y'all did last night, Purdue. <laughs> all right. Took an A off. <laughs> Let's keep reading them. All right, Gary, I caught that D nine jump. <laughs> all right. Let's see what Shard has say. But y'all didn't even think for dude would go far. But no, 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 dog, don't do here, that. Here, here's the here's the thing. Don't Charlotte. do that. Here's the thing, Charlotte. In my in my in my fake bracket, I had Gremlin beating Purdue to win the NCAA championship. But yeah, you you kind of y'all kind you kind of right. We didn't have them going that far, but, but they they made it. Listen, that that's fine. You can say they they went far or whatever. Like this is the thing about sports. It's not a participation thing. It's about who wins at the end of the day. Ask the 49ers, would they rather be the second place losers or the first place winners? Or the first place losers. Hey, first place hey, losers. First place losers, yeah. Which one would you rather be? I'd say second place. Which one would you rather be? It's not about making it there, it's about winning. Ask Caitlin Clark. She would rather win, win yeah. than bust all these records. I promise you that. The records is nice. Guess what happens when you go down the list? Only reason why Caitlin Clark will be remembered because she's at the top of the record books. But Zach Eady and Purdue, guess what will happen? The only way you are mentioned is you are that team that you can't kind of beat to do their back-to-back -back repeat. Yep, there you go. It doesn't matter about how far they made it. No, I didn't have them making it that far. I had UNC going. That don't mean nothing. They didn't make it. Purdue did. Guess what happened? Everybody lost but one team, and that is UConn. All right. Oh, All right. Uh, I thought it was because the team colors were blue. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> it's okay, though. We we here to educate you. But thank you for the comment, Miss Tanya. Uh, thank you, Game Free for Life says. Thank you, Charade. <laughs> uh, it's all love. It's all, it's all, love. It's all about UNC. That's yeah, UNC. Back, back. Uh, we approve this message. All right, and I I'd rather be paid to be honest. All right, man, let's get the flag on the plate, man. You only yeah, you only get paid. Ew. Ew. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we have our flag, flag on, on the, the plate. Play. And pretty much flag on the plate is when we see anything egregious going on for players and coaches, we have to call them out as sports enthusiasts. So with no further ado, my flag on the plate goes to one more time. Okay, my flag, my flag on the play goes to Houston guard, LSU player, former LSU player, Tyree Eason uh, for the Houston Rockets. He came in when Golden State came down to Houston and wore a Warriors come out to play shirt. And Houston wound up losing by 23 points. Sir, why would you even wear anything remotely to joke about the Warriors? When they are still the Warriors, and now that you have worn that shirt, since you have worn that shirt, you guys are out of the playoffs. So today, this flag on the play goes to you, Tyree Eason. My flag on the play simply is this. Goes to anybody who didn't sit up there and listen to our advice and pick the teams that we pick. Yes, I am petty. I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it because I am who I am, and that's just all it is. We said UConn. We said South Carolina. I don't care about no conspiracy theories. I don't care about nobody saying they had a feeling, they gut feeling, or anything like that. The amount of football, basketball, and all sporting events, debates, whatever it may be that we watch, you should trust us and us only. 
So the flag on the play goes to anybody who didn't listen to us. And I'm just like that. All right, man. All right. So the next segment that we have is when light comes at you fast and pretty much when light comes at you fast is when you're on cloud nine, cloud 10, cloud 15, and you come crashing down to earth. And then this happens. Mm. All right. So when my flag, I'm sorry, when life comes at you fast, this goes to all the media that was covering Caitlin Clark and not covering South Carolina after they win. I saw a tweet that said that Samuel L. Jackson had tweeted out. He said, hey, media, it's okay to cover the winning team. Uh, the media was covering Caitlin Clark all this time, and they did not. It's pretty much like. Caitlin won the, the the national championship instead of losing when South Carolina won and they actually won. So uh, yeah, the media coverage goes to everybody that was on the Caitlin Clark train that thought they were going to win against South Carolina. Don Staley proved y'all wrong again. And hey, it is what it is when life comes at you fast. <laughs> I'm just putting these comments on here because they're funny. <laughs> y'all, it's funny in these comments. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> this they say Purdue. What's wrong with you see? 100. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh that was a good one though. That appreciate was a good it, one. It, man. Uh my 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 money shot is something that I want you to remember, something that you should not forget, cannot forget, and I would hope you wouldn't forget. Something that when you hear it from somewhere else, you'll come back and listen to what we said because I think we said better than anybody. We do too. So this is my money shot. I had a different money shot before we came on here. We're going to get it back one day. And I was able to look at some things today. My money shot goes to Draymond Green asking Clay Thompson how he feels or how they feel about him getting ejected from certain games and all this stuff like this. Right. This was asking Clay Thompson started his sentence off by saying, and I'm paraphrasing here, y'all. Um, you know, it, it just it really hurts the team. It hurts us when you're not on there. You're a throwback player. You know, we are nice guys. We can't really function without you. That's basically paraphrasing what he's saying. Clay Thompson, the money shot has to go to you because this man asked you a question on his platform and you could have been brutally honest, but you sugarcoated it and proved that you are still a nice guy when you don't have to be. It's funny how you might got smoke for players like Jaron Jackson Jr., but when Draymond Green in a non-threatening environment on his podcast asks you, what do you think about me getting ejected? You didn't even give him the real. The money shot goes to Draymond, really, for saying this. Well, what you think about me getting ejected? You know what we yeah, think about you getting ejected. <laughs> you know what we think about you getting ejected. You know you screwing up. You know you screwing us. You don't galvanize us when you get ejected. You screw us up in the end. Steph Curry's reaction, I, I wish I would have got, um, I wish I would have got a picture of his reaction. You know his reaction was when Draymond got ejected and they had to just go over there to the bench for a timeout real quick. <laughs> if, you, if you listen to this on the podcast, you need to come to the YouTube channel so you can see what we just did. Yeah, man. It, it's, it's ridiculous that I saw that and all I could do was laugh like, okay, Clay gonna light him up. Clay gonna light him up. And I just laughed even harder because he gave the typical nice guy answer. This man asked you point blank period and you still gave a BS answer. Hate to see it, man. Oh, okay. All right, man. Let, let's get let's get to the real. Let's get, let's get to the real right now, Be man. Before we get to our music picks, we have another thing that we got to bring up that is disturbing us. And we doing good on time. We might go over. It's disturbing my peace. It's disturbing my spirit. Yes, that's a shot. J. Cole. Came out with his diss to Kendrick Lamar. Seven-minute drill. That's what it was called. Came out with some facts, some figures that smoke. Some bars. Bars. That thing that we needed. The competition is missing. Well, hip-hop. There you go. He needed it. We needed it. We loved it. It was so brilliant. I listened to it all day Friday. I barely did any work. I don't even know if I did my job. They could have fired me just because that was how much I was listening to the record over and over again. Don't look at me like that. I was listening to the record over and over again like, yo, he really came for the smoke. Here's just one line, really two, that just stuck out. Okay, talk to him. Four albums in 12 years. 
He's only released four albums in 12 years, but yet we're calling him the GOAT. The GOAT got to be consistent. If we relate it to sports, you can't win that and then say you a dynasty, you, right? You, right. You, you, can't, you can't play two years and then retire the third year, then come back three years after that, and then play one year, and then retire for another year. It don't go down like that, man. And I can, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what I actually was doing when I found out the news. I actually woke up, went to work out at 5.30 a.m. And then I go on Twitter, I go on IG, and I'm just seeing everybody just slandering J. Cole. I'm like, what did J. Cole do? And then next thing you know, the apology. The apology tour came, and it, 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 hurt, it hurt me, man, because all the J. Cole fans, was they were ready for it, man. They were ready for the smoke. Kendrick had his fans. Cole had his fans. Everybody's ready to go to battle. We were ready for it. And we get to sprinkle Drake in there. And yeah, Drake too. But <laughs> but we ain't talking about him right now. We're talking about these two great MCs. And unfortunately, it was a good shot. It was a nice little diss. And then just for the spirit of competition. Oh, it, shot. That was brilliant. It was it, it was the just for the, the level of competition. Just competition, man. Y'all just foreign partners. You know what I'm saying? You come back and you do an apology. Oh, at Dreamville Festival, at your festival. You did an apology at your festival, man. It made no sense. I was so hurt. I, I, man, I, I, I couldn't believe what I've been seeing. I've never seen this in hip-hop. When, when last time we talked about this, Nas and Jay Z, they had they they had their feud going on, they had their beef going on, and years later down the road, they 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 made up, they performed together, they cool, they had a couple of records together, cool. But in the spirit of competition, that's what we wanted as a hip hop community. That's what we wanted, and we, unfortunately, we didn't get it because it didn't sit right with spirit. But you said like all all these other records you had, and I can name quite a few, but I'm not going to do it because Mama love Mama. We ain't going to do it. But it's it's a couple of things you said on your songs, a couple of titles on your songs that it would. I'm pretty sure they ain't sit right with your spirit. But hey, you made them. Hey man, you 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 use the N word, the B word, the MF word, the F word. You use all of that in your stuff, and this is what disturbed your spirit. Really quick, going to this comment, he put everything he had on it, but he knows that he has no gas for the tank for k -Dub. Man, get out of here, Spencer. Come on. All right, Spencer. We're going to talk soon, Spencer. Stop I, I, playing. I, I stop respect playing. Stop I respect, playing, Spencer. I respect, stop, no, stop I playing with me, Spencer. I respectfully disagree. Stop playing with me, Spencer. Stop playing with me, Spencer. We're going to talk. k -Dub has the formula that these fast food rappers don't understand, but J. Cole thought about it and said, my bad. Yo, like, like at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Spencer, you gotta be honest. <laughs> when you when you listen to it, Spencer, you gotta be honest and say, "Dang, he really told him up on that." And, and, and uh, we gonna get the Mark Hines, uh, J Cole. What up, Mark? What up, Mark? J Cole did the same thing Jesus did. Jesus did with his verses with Gucci. Exactly, Mark. They had smoke for each other. Now nah, it was bad smoke. Like it was, it was bad all around. But at the end of the day, Gucci. What? What did it? What at the end of the day they had a versus. They bad. They did a versus with each other, and then after that they partied out there in Atlanta. It was good for the hip hop community. It was great for Atlanta. It was good. But it, hold on, let's just go to this. This this line right here is, is what it's all about. Your first ish was classic. Your last ish was tragic. Your second put people to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third was massive, and that was your prime. Like that bars. That's a bar, and you, man. And, and this is for Spencer. Anybody who they came out is better than, than Cole, and Cole wasn't telling the truth. Good Kid, Mad, Mad City was his first album. It was classic. It really was. I still bump it to this day. The rest of that stuff is garbage. I'm not listening to Pimple Butterfly. I'm not listening to Dan. I'm sorry. Hey, dude, hey don't, don't get me wrong. The Bimbo Live is a good album. But damn, is mm. I'm not trying to be depressed. That's what a typical butterfly does. And damn, I ain't got that many good songs on it. Caught call it last one because I laughed. Mr. Miss Morrell. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Morrell. Come on. Uh, uh, that's all I'm saying, we, man. We, 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 need, we need a competition, we, man. We need it. We need it. it Kendrick needed this more than Cole. It's 2024, and I, I never would have ever in my whole entire life thought I would see a rapper apologize 
at his own festival for this another rapper. And then, like I like I said, <laughs> like I said yesterday, you like, right, game freak, you right, game. Freak. Like I like I said like I said yesterday, man, boxers. When if you look at boxing, when they, how they promote the boxing fights, they they talk they talk shit to each other, they talk trash to each other. When it, it, they they say they're gonna knock each other block off, and then when they get in the ring, it's gonna be a winner and it's gonna be a loser. And then when it's all said and done, guess what they do? They dap it up. We are hey. You got me this round. You got me this time. We're going to go back. We're going to do another one. Or we won't. But you got me this time. It is what it is. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad he brought up no Vaseline Ice Cube versus NWX. Honestly, if you want to be real, like Kendrick fired the first shots on the Like Dead track, Future Metro Bloom Hill. J. Cole responded. This was no Vaseline bars, if you want to be honest, Spencer. If K. Dot fired that, you got to go back at him, J. Cole. Right. You cannot sit on the sideline if he fires back. And, then, and Kendrick should have fired back. And I hope I hope he do, but guess what Cole's going to do? He's going to be free to peace, I ain't, which I ain't mad at you. But, hey, no, it, man, it's like y'all need to do a peace. It, 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 if we follow J. Cole's logic, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, you somebody, you know, when you're playing basketball, somebody score on you, guess what you do? You just keep passing and don't, don't try to score on them. Don't try to get no better. You know, yeah, you, you don't want the competition. You want the, he was never ready for that number one spot, and he just showed it. Everybody was kind. Of, everybody, was, everybody was defending this man like he was the one. He is the one. He's not the one no more. Not after this. Oh, it's not Kendrick. Well, it's Drake then. It's not Drake. Drake. Who the, who the big three now? Who? 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 We we I ain't talking about no big three. Who, who, who the one then? It's it's him. It, until Kendrick fired his shot, even with this lame apology. It's still him. When 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 Kendra put out a mixtape? When was his last time? When was Mr. Morrell? 2022. And what, what year we in now? 2024. I don't even know if he come out with another album. He probably won't, but hey. See, if he'll come out with another album, you at, 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 as long as we've been honest, four and twelve, you got I mean, are we at the mark where he's gonna put out five now? We waited forever for D'Angelo. Power, yeah, I, I forgot your power trip about Jake Collins shit right facts, man. Right, right. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. This man, again, the headline that I have here, he let us down. This man made a song by letting Nas down. Bro, you, you let, let us down. down. That was a good one. You, you let, let us down. You let the whole hip hop community down. And hey, look, I know, I know you want, I know you want to get lit us, lit us here right with your spirit. And I understand you probably don't, I don't care what we about say. your spirit. But we want you, man. Who fires a shot on a Friday and then come back on a Sunday? Like you said it. You said it. And then you, you backtrack, bro. Like you back. Even, you should have never said shit to begin with. Even even wrestling beef go on longer than this. You feel me? Like, come on, like, Cole, bro. Why did you even say anything? You knew you 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 know you weren't ready for none of this. Uh, real quick, this is from Spencer. Uh, you keep the peace when you know you can't win the war. He might win the battle, but who will win the war? Can I all day stop playing that boy? Hey, bro. Hey, 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 hey for whatever hey, reason, hey. hey, Spencer. I, I look. I agree with you on this right now. He got the whole rap. He got the He got everybody shook that scared of, that scared of, No, 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 no. He got every man shook. Somebody made a good point saying if he want to really go at somebody, go go with a female rapper. No. Nah. They the, they the ones on they the ones on top running some stuff. Whether, whether we like it or not, not not, not like sexy red or anything like that. He gotta go out the lyrics. He's going to rap city. Go out the rap city. I doubt it, but you know. Get the get the gal. And I'm just saying, you want the real competition. Apparently, don't none of the men yeah, want it. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna say it. I didn't say this, but Bobani Jones did one of my favorite podcasts. He said, "See what therapy did got y'all." Ther <laughs> therapy did this. Therapy, therapy did yep. this. All right, y'all. We thank y'all. We are almost at the end of the show. We are getting ready to give y'all our music picks. That segment right there was for music. We love music. It's something that is enveloped in us. We're gonna give y'all something new, something old, something blue, something borrowed, all that good stuff. But before we do that. We want to talk about what y'all are talking about. So uh, real quick, for what y'all have put in, if I missed anything, if y'all could put it back in there, but I think I got everything. First thing that we got right here is from Chelsea. More Than Friends by 8 Nine, Nine Boys, Boys featuring Big, Big Frida. Big. Oh, okay, so I already know this is Chelsea. Shout out to you, Chelsea. This is this it. Yeah. Yeah. Bounce, yeah. Yeah. Bounce, yeah. Bounce, yeah. bounce, yeah. bounce, yeah. bounce, uh, bounce, bounce, <laughs> bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me get to this next one. Oh, yeah, right All right, this is Big the Thug, Whip It. Oh, you got to listen to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, great mind. Yep. Great mind. I, I like that. I like that one. Uh, all right, we have Nino Calvin, 
million and one. Nice. Okay. Oh, you on Nino? You said Nino Cavan last week. Okay. Okay. All I right. like it. I like it. All right. All right. Let's get to it. Uh, armed and dangerous king. Oh, Bond. 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 Rest but, in peace. Dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> and no, uh, we have Eric Benet, chocolate legs. Oh, you didn't say it right. It's Eric, Eric Benet. <laughs> Eric Benet. Chocolate legs. All right. <laughs> All right, man. So All right. You want me to give mine? Uh, I got it up here on the screen real quick. Give me one thick. Hey, I've been listening to him. Oh, I've been listening to this record. Well, these past two records, I've been listening for a minute. Shout out to the West Coast. Uh, the first one is Pac-Man, the Gunman. Last of it. I definitely like that record. I've been listening to that for the straight past month. And this one, uh, London Drugs featuring Get Freddie Gibbs. Uh, tomorrow is a great record. Uh, I hope anybody, if y'all, I hope y'all, if y'all check it out, y'all listen to it. That'll be our workout song. That get y'all some go, get y'all up and going, get the blood flowing. So hopefully y'all check that out, man. I think y'all like. It. So I, I listened to both of these. I like the tomorrow record better That's, than the last yeah. seven. But yeah, now that tomorrow record, it hit hard. It give you that old school feel. Yeah. Uh, for my two picks, I went old school, Mama, rest in peace to Papa. Uh, James Brown and the JBs, the boss, mm. classic record. James Brown, if you don't know, kids, go do your research. James now you know. Brown, James Brown is that dude. That guy. Like, he is that guy. And, and honestly, you want to talk about discography? Dog, I'm scrolling through. The, the thing never ended. <laughs> this man just put out stuff so, every time you looked up. So, this man came out with it like it wasn't nothing. And work ethic is bar none the best we ever seen in music. This man was edited. He died. Crazy. Max. Fleetwood Mac, Silver Springs. Yes, I have wet country to give y'all some country. Heard the record. It was a suggestion from a podcast. It go hard. Okay. Silver Springs, Fire. Fleetwood Mac, actually a great group. I actually went and got me a country list on my stuff now, too. So Ooh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm tapping back into that like I should. But yeah. Uh, other than that, man, just want to, you know, Thank y'all for tuning in once again. We we thank y'all for tuning in. We thank y'all for staying with us. We love it. We appreciate it. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before we get out of man, here? Man, we appreciate you, J. Cole. You let us down. Let us down, man. Don Staley, she is her. She is different. Also, shout out to you, guys. <laughs> hey, with that, shout out to y'all, too. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Hey, Sade, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. For everybody tuning in, this is GNC Sports Talk, where we do it for the culture. By the culture. Because we are the culture, you did. We are the number one sports podcast. Why? Because our mama says so. Because our mama says so. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. We love it. We appreciate it. Big things are coming. No lies are being told. A lot of hard work behind the scenes. Mm. Anyway, y'all take it easy. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.